It rivals the Olympics as one of the world's greatest sporting spectacles. And in just 25 days, the FIFA World Cup begins. Almost half the world's population will watch, including the millions who will attend the tournament's 64 games. The majority, of course, from the host country. As Brenda Irving tells us, for some Brazilian fans, soccer doesn't just run through their veins. It's a blood sport where the battleground can go beyond the field of play. This is an instantly recognizable global image. Brazilians have a reputation as the world's most loyal and wildly enthusiastic supporters. We are passionate for soccer ever since we were born. The first gift a father gives his son is a ball. So this is where everything starts. Brazil is the country of soccer. These images are of pure joy and togetherness. But often, that love of the beautiful game turns ugly. Since 1988, conflicts between rival Brazilian supporters have led to a staggering 234 deaths, more than any other country. So in order to understand why this happens, I wanted to meet one of the fans who takes part in this violence. We were given rare access inside the Mancha Verde clubhouse. Supporters of one of Sao Paulo's most popular teams, Palmeiras. Here, on my back is one of my Mancha Verde tattoos. And this one is on my arm for the year Mancha Verde was founded. This is Marcos Ferreira. He looks like an average guy. But I'm taken aback by what he tells me next. You live for your team, and your life is related to your team. Your best friends, your relatives, your job. You end up creating a family inside the fan club. I would do anything, would give my life to defend Palmeiras from Mancha Verde. Palmeiras' chief rival is Corinthians. It's Brazil's fiercest and most violent rivalry. Two years ago, 500 supporters of the club fought each other. One fan was killed after being shot in the head. Another received such serious injuries, he was declared brain dead. The first thing that comes to mind when I hear the word Corinthians is hate. We have a history of confrontations between the two teams and fan clubs. Unfortunately, in 1988, we had our first death. And from there, have had many others. But why would soccer fans kill each other to defend their team? How could hate for rival supporters be so strong? It's a difficult concept for most Canadians to grasp. Bernardo Barque understands. He studies fan behavior in Brazil. A soccer match, for some Brazilians, determines their honor, their superiority over other people. He tells me soccer was originally enjoyed by Brazil's upper class. But as the country transitioned from a rural to urban society in the 1930s, the sport became popular among the masses. When people began moving from the countryside into the big cities, they had no identity, and soccer became that for them. So they cut their ties with the countryside and found new identities through the clubs that they supported. For these people, soccer gives them a sense of belonging and acceptance. 
an attack against their team is a personal attack. There are different levels of love for your parents or your girlfriend. But if you ask a Mancha Verde member who they love more, their girlfriend or Mancha Verde, they will say Mancha Verde is their first love. And as the gap between the upper class and poor continues to grow, soccer, not just in Brazil, but in other parts of the world as well, sadly has become a place for people to vent their frustrations. In Rio de Janeiro, Brenda Irving, CBC News.